Okay, good day guys. Mike here. Got a bit of a shout out to a couple of channels there. Nibs over at Walnut Steel and Six Shooter Texan on his channel. I've got some air guns here to show you guys today. I'll make it fast. This one here is my Benjamin Franklin 177 caliber multi pump single shot bolt action pellet rifle that I bought way back in the early 70s. Mail order from a company called Herders. And it cost me about $60 I think at the time and I paid $22 in taxes to get it into Canada. So this was my oldest air gun. In fact it's my oldest gun of all. It is considered a firearm in Canada so you need a license to own this. Anyway I know these guys know all about these guns so I'm not going to go into any detail but down here we've got the Crossman model 1377 C which is a Canadian regulated model. It's regulated to under 500 feet per second in 177 cal. And I had this out in an earlier video on the uh, cheap $20 Bushnell variable scope that I have on it. And I have some aftermarket uh, scope bases for this. And that's the only mods I've done is the stock and the scope base. Everything else is stock. It's just super fun to shoot because it's a 177 cal. And down here we have a Crossman model 2240 in 22 caliber CO2 powered and same thing I've done nothing to the gun at all except put a stock on it and some aftermarket scope mounts and I have a Weaver K3 on that and that's just because there's times when you want to sit in a lawn chair and you don't want to bother pumping up the gun to just shoot at pop cans or something. And then this one here is my my real, if you want to call it that, bug out gun. It was built special purpose for hunting bullfrogs here in British Columbia. But unfortunately they have a provincial law that says you can't hunt with anything less than a 12 inch barrel. So until I buy a barrel for this it'll never go hunting. It's just going to be at the range. On this one, same mods. I put the stock on it and I replaced the breech with a steel breech on this one. So that's just for ease of scope mounting. And on this one I have a Bushnell variable that goes up to 4.5. It's a super fun gun to shoot as well. The only one mod on this gun that I really, really want to do, uh, even though it's low priority, is it would be nice to put a left-handed breech on this gun. Because when you're walking and hunting, it's easier to maintain control of this thing with your right hand and then just cock it with your left hand and open it up and reach into your pocket with your left hand, pull the pellet out and load it. Uh, for right handed, I mean it works okay, but you have to switch hands basically to load the gun. So Anyway, there's a quick look at my air guns. Three Crossmans and the beautiful Benjamin. Have a great day everybody. Mike out.